students welcome to the fourth part of morphology of flowering plants in this part we will be discussing about stem so let's see what we have to learn stem you can see here in the diagram this is a stem it is commonly above the ground erect part of the plant it bears lateral branches at intervals the stem and its branches possess swollen areas or nodes here you can see these are the terminal buds the bud scales axillary buds leaf scar here are the nodes at intervals it possesses swollen areas known as nodes and the dif distance between one and two node it's known as internode diverse forms of stem so we are now going to discuss about the various diverse forms of stems the reduced stems in some plants the stem is in the form of a reduced small disc okay it is in the form of a reduced small disc which is not differentiated into nodes and internodes here you can see in the diagram there is no node no internode these are reduced small disc example green colored small discoid stems that occur in free floating lamina so this is an example of free floating lamina then comes the erect stems under the diverse form of stems majority of angiosperms possess upright growing ascending vertically erect stems they are fixed in the soil with the help of roots erect stems belong to four categories first is the culm erect stems with solid nodes and uh, hollow internodes the nodes here you can see solid node and hollow internode so the internodes are hollow they are not solid okay uh, the nodes are swollen giving the stem a jointed appearance example bamboo you know that bamboo is hollow from inside but the nodes are solid okay and wheat <coughs> 